What's up friends, this is Bunny and let me show you firepower you have never seen coming from a regular robot before. We're right here in a clan match of heavily maxed meta players coming in from all angles, but this crisis with 4x subduer and the new Pascal drone just deletes Oho Kochi's in seconds. Ladies and gentlemen, this is insane, okay? So get ready for some real bad da damage numbers coming up here in this video um, and for some crazy domination. Look, this is three enemies. One, two, and three, all in one clip. Uh, the living legend te text couldn't even keep up with this. Anyways, this is it. Uh, crisis, ret retro crisis here. Subduer weapon doing 4,150 damage per hit with overdrive double as well and the pascal drone so this is really maximum damage output even with a legendary pilot of the crisis that adds another i think 15 percent um to the damage output of the uh, overpower ability that the crisis has when you activate the ability and uh yeah so with this thing also very interesting you can snipe down offions like nothing they have zero chance they fly up and then zoop, you just delete them immediately um, unless they have something like stealth. Also here, Dagon Robot, man. Ain't no thing. <laughs> Ain't no freaking thing, man. This guy is done instantly. One second and the Dagon is dead. Because there's literally coming like 300,000 damage per second from this robot here. It is insane. I don't know what Pixonic was thinking when they make a robot setup have this much damage output uh, or a weapon setup. A single weapon coming up with 4,200 damage per bullet and it fires like 10 bullets or 15 bullets per second at 600 meters with per perfect accuracy altogether maybe firing like 50 bullets calculate how much damage that is coming from a single freaking weapon it is absolutely nuts pixonic is going absolutely overkill with the damage output from these weapons and on top of that they also that was another dagon by the way uh, on top of that they also cause the rust effect that prevents any kind of healing that you desperately need after getting shot by this uh, again absolute game breaking from the beginning till the end nothing is okay about this weapon nothing uh but well it's here um and the same problem of course happens with um the tamer and the damper they're all equally broken uh, in how way too much damage they do plus the freaking rust effect man seriously look the living legend can't even keep up living legend living legend living here and oh wait there was another one that's right game almost forgot um there's another ohokochi coming in i just shoot him for like one or two seconds and then he's pretty much destroyed and i think he exited the game yeah <coughs> excuse me I think he left the game after getting almost completely dropped and I wasn't even just shooting him. Okay, zoom down to last stand with him. Of course the ability to shield break is also really helpful here on the crisis robot. And you can always argue that 4 out of every anything maxed is a lot of damage and uh, normally I would agree but seriously man you can run just one of these sub doers and you'll perform as well as some other weapons when you run three or four of them. I'm not even joking. This is so much overkill. Look, let's let's drop this Orochi. Yeah, complete Orochi kill. And on top, and then with the rest of the clip, I drop 25% on the Crisis robot. So let me just go full damage output here. Nope, I'm suppressed. I'm suppressed by him, and I'm still dealing 70% of damage to that uh, guy. Let me full end that real quick. Pop. And uh, I'm almost destroyed now, but I have the shield of the battleship and it prevents the the blinding too with uh, the lifesaver turret. Uh, and yeah, so what do you think, ladies and gentlemen? Is that fair? Is that good? Yeah, Pixonic doing a great job again with, uh, with balancing. Um, not saying that we didn't expect this. We already knew this was coming. Um, but, you know, the thing is, it just needs to change. That's the thing. Now we are in this clan war that I've shown you in the beginning, okay? See, this guy, he already used his ability, I think, to get there a little faster. And so I'm just uh, activating the overpower ability and coming in with this much damage output. Look at this. He's, he's firing back the same weapons at me, but he's not nearly doing this amount of damage that I do. Uh, also, this guy apparently was not ready for that because he did not even use his ability. So, you know, people drop so fast. They don't even get to activate the second ability that they get at 50%. Those are max clan, clan boys. They clearly have the pilot skill 
for a uh, clever survivor or deft survivor where they get the ability a second time. They have it, but you just can't click this fast. You destroyed so quick. You're 400 feet, 500,000 HP or 600,000 HP on the um on the Ohokochi just goes down immediately. It's just gone instantly. You can't even react so fast. Uh, and uh, it, it's 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 just I don't know, man. It, it, it's just. This is the beginning of something completely new, broken again, after we had uh, the last problems with uh, the Newton choke and and whatever. The Curie robot seems uh, a little better balanced uh, though, and also the Eiffel Titan at this point does not look like it's breaking our game so much. Uh, but of course there can't be an update with something completely game breaking coming in, and that must be the new weapon category, the last one coming as Tamer and Damper, um, and now uh, the heavy version supplement coming in as well. Now, another thing, um, the trickster uh, category, so the, the corrosion version of these weapons, are just as broken because they fill up the entire robot kill, basically, of corrosion damage um, in, uh, in just one clip from just a single weapon. How is that okay, right? You know how normally we, uh, we have corrosion weapons in the game, and we, get a, we have a good feeling of what is required to fill such and such amounts of corrosion from, for example, Wasp or Viper um, or, or something like this, yeah, Sting. Uh, but you don't do corrosion of a full robot kill equivalent uh, in a single clip in like three seconds. You just don't do that with one weapon. That is not what we have in this game. But now we do have it. So, yeah, everything always... Um, needs to uh, to to go too far unfortunately um but anyways uh, let's uh, end this match here you see we're getting uh, hopelessly demolished by the clan boys obviously um but uh, that was uh, to expect or what to ex was expected yeah uh let's see how much damage we've done in this relatively short time uh with the uh four heavy uh subduers and that would be 3.6 million damage. Um, by far the highest amount of damage. Um, but the real crazy things comes now, okay? <laughs> I hope you're ready for something really, really, really insane. There's an AFK Dagon in the base. Somehow I can hit him from here. That's a little bit surprising. Uh, he must be standing all the way back at the wall. Um, and yeah, let's just uh, delete some enemies. Also, I can kill uh, Harpy Sirens in the air. I usually, usually use my face shift for that. Uh, because you can, you will take some damage because they throw a lot of damage back, but <clears throat> at the same time, they go down very quickly because there's too much damage coming from these weapons. Look, Afion, pop, there he goes. He just started to fly in his base, instant death. Uh, that, that is normal now. These weapons, that's that's what they do. They just instantly kill you. Um, you will also see it against Titans in just a minute. Um, but uh, uh, what was I going to say? Oh yeah, I, I used the phase shift uh, to negate many, much of that incoming uh, damage back from harpies and sirens. If you just fire a, a big salvo and then phase shift, you'll still keep doing a little bit of damage with the flying shots, but you no longer receive the damage back at you. So basically only half of the damage you would be taking, you took. Um, and uh, do, since, since I'm running overdrive, I kind of want to lose some of my HP anyways to uh, to get that activated still hoping that Pixonic is actually um ooh, that was i took quite a bit of damage from him i'm still hoping that Pixonic is actually considering to rework the uh, overdrive system because it's at this point right now pretty useless running two modules like two-thirds out of your possible module slots for zero benefit most of the time it's just unacceptable it needs to needs to change. If I equip uh, two-thirds out of my robots with a certain module, then I want to get freaking bonuses for that, and not just running a module that isn't active most of the time. This is now the ideal amount of HP I took. So now I cannot heal past the overdrive, but how often do you have that exact perfect threshold uh, ready for you for a while, right? It's not, it's not often the case. Okay, phase shifting. And... Drrrp. That phase shift every time saves me, man. And look at the damage, dude. That is just an El Ming. Just took like one third of a clip. Uh, what's that? Kepri. Boop, instantly destroyed. We also have an extra shield now, with which we can uh, tank some damage. That may have been a Fenrir or something. That's a Titan down there. 
Everything just dies. Wait, is it a Titan? Yeah. Why is it a small Titan? <laughs> Maybe because it was down below. <laughs> Alright, so we keep getting more HP as well. Uh, and... That is... That is insane. I mean the, uh... Seraph... No, not the Seraph. The Aether Titan used to have so much better resistance in the air. <coughs> Sorry. I don't know why they took it away. Uh, the Aether was not an overpowered Titan. Uh, and uh, seeing what other Titans can do, looking at Rook, right? Uh, for example, uh, even Luchador at this point is much better than the Aether Titan uh, and some others. I, I, I don't know uh, if, if any nerf for an Aether was ever needed. I don't think so. So, capturing this beacon here, awaiting more and more enemies to come in, so uh, they want to get their beacon back. Uh, that is a Mars robot. I mean, sorry, correction, it was a Mars robot. He existed for like one second. And his, his big mistake was, uh, was being on the map. He should have not been on this map. He should have ended up in another match. That was his big mistake. <laughs> wow, that Dagon is doing a lot of damage, so I better phase shift right through that. I expected that maybe I can tank it or just walk away from it for a second, but man, that was a lot of damage coming from him. Too much. Too much for me. I had to phase shift. But, you know, that's the option that the phase shift gives you, is the option to decide not to take damage when you don't want to. Uh, when the cooldown is ready, but of course 40 power cells is also a lot of power cells for that and um, You know, it's not exactly comes for free Pop and pop Easy both guys done because uh, too much damage coming from these weapons And Imugi just walked out of his spawn. It, of course, he's immediately destroyed Can't even activate his stealth Here comes a uh, Minos. Okay, I guess we're gonna have to deal with him in a moment um, if he does it smart, I don't really stand much of a chance. Uh, but first I have to deal with the Seraph. Uh, and he is already running his Reflector, and that means I basically just killed myself. I, I, I opened up with like 350,000 damage per second um, against the Reflector that throws it all back to me. Um, so, yeah, there goes that. <laughs> Alright, so what do you think, ladies and gents, about the setup, the Tamer in, in particular, uh, sorry, the Subduer in particular? Tell me what the what you, what your verdict is about uh, the game, again game's health with these weapons and uh, about the combination with the crisis. I think this is really really crazy. Um, but yeah, thanks for watching. Catch you in the next one. Manny signing off. Bye bye.